Salarian. As promised, I am here. We have not had a last-minute substitution as we did last week. So we are back on schedule with our classes. And I would like to say, uh, before I begin uh, my talk this evening, that I am indeed honored that so many of you have come and such uh, sincerity that you bring to this gathering is wholly appreciated by us. We will do what we can, and I say we, for you have already heard uh, the invocation uh, at length involving uh, many other beings, aside from myself. And there are many others here, along with your own spirit guides and the teachers. We are working together in a cooperative effort to assist you in your spiritual growth, in your involvement, in your enjoyment of this experience you call life. Sometimes you may use other uh, adjectives when you are uh, feeling uh, a little bit uh, distressed with the uh, whole affair or um, overjoyed with it. Nevertheless, it can be a quite an enjoyable experience once you have mastered the finer points of the game. When you have mastered the finer points, you will yourself be a spiritual master. And then it will also be easy for you to say how enjoyable life is. So be at ease, and be relaxed, and be natural. I ask only that you give yourself uh, to your own breathing uh, consciously this evening and focus yourselves, for uh, this will be uh, as much or more an internal experience as it will be an external teaching. And what you uh, absorb uh, internally will depend uh, somewhat upon your uh, ability to focus and Mm. relax and absorb, be receptive. So I would like to speak tonight about trust. Trust is <clears throat> in your spiritual evolvement and in your uh, spiritual path mm. an attribute and also a uh, somewhat of a weapon in your service. It is an attribute or a, a manifestation that you can use, that you can draw upon to assist you to uh, make things flow a little bit uh, more smoothly, to ease your processes. There is no way to avoid your processes, as you know, in your spiritual path, and yet there are ways and means to uh, eliminate unnecessary stress and even allow you to enjoy somewhat the various uncertainties and manifestations of uh, evolvement from third dimensional reality uh, to the beyond of the ascension. In speaking of trust, I am speaking of something that is mm, experiential in nature. I am not speaking of a blind faith in mm, regards to other uh, religious teachings, etc., where you are expected to believe because someone told you to believe and uh, mm, you will feel guilty and fearful if you do not believe that. I'm speaking of something a little bit uh, deeper this evening. I'm speaking of an actual spiritual experience which you can have, which you can gain more and more in your lives. Some of you have mm, been quite adept at mm, developing this attribute. 
It can't always be deepened. It can't always grow. I will use the example. Uh, recently, we have had a, a visitor to this uh, premises, uh, a small visitor with wings. Uh, in the uh, weekend, we had a, a visitor, um, I believe it is called a blue jay. And the uh, visitor came curiously to uh, see what was going on in the uh, backyard on the deck. Many children were gathered there playing, and some of the children began to put out uh, tidbits for the bird, hoping it would come by. At first, the bird was uh, rather uh, cautious, and it made a mm, cautious attempt to uh, come closer. And when it felt uh, enough safety and security, it dove down and took one of the morsels and uh, vanished with it. And it did this procedure, the same procedure, uh, many times. And each time it did so with greater and greater uh, mm, freedom and uh, security, until soon it would come quite close, and there was no more fear. And now this bird is uh, coming uh, regularly, and is not at all afraid to uh, step right up and ask for something. It's, it is somewhat the same with human beings and spirituality and uh, their experience of Mm. divine nurturance, let me say. You may approach the uh, mm. spiritual path with a little reticence. You may find yourself uh, being cautious, mm. extremely cautious as to whether uh, you are walking on something or believing something that can, can indeed support you, that there is indeed truth to this. And uh, it is an experiential matter that over the course of time as you give yourself to spirit in meditation as you give yourself to the care and nurturance of your higher self and of the Father that you realize more and more an experience of trust and you realize that you can have more of an attitude of security more of an attitude of enjoyment and peace within your heart you can trust that in reaching for the morsels that are there for you, that you will not be harmed. In fact, you will be given full access. And you can trust that there will be a continuing flow of a spiritual morsels for you. So you are all on your own paths, and all of you at your various levels of trust experiencing some of you quite freely mm, the ability to completely rely upon spirit to uh, mm, grant you your needs your emotional needs your physical needs your spiritual needs all the love that you require and desire most of us are mm, somewhere in between complete trust and uh, mm, doubt and we learn by experience over the course of time and over the course of our t attempts to give ourselves that we can trust and be provided for and taken care of and that our fear is unnecessary our doubt is counterproductive You see, trust is your greatest ally in manifesting that which you desire. We spoke somewhat uh, in our last uh, gathering about manifestation, conscious choices relating to a manifestation. And I would say that uh, trust is a catalyst to the reaction of manifestation in your lives regardless of what you are seeking to manifest if you are doing so in alignment with your higher purpose in alignment with higher will let me say 
surrendering to God in your life and asking to be guided, asking to come in contact with the next uh, best experience for you, with the next mm, plan of action. If you are giving yourself in this way at this time, then trust can be a great ally to you. As you can learn by experience, by taking small steps, by giving yourself in small ways, by throwing mm, tiny parts of your life, tiny parts of your being up into the air, trusting that they will be taken care of. And by experiencing the fulfillment of this over uh, time, you can come into uh, an understanding and an experience where trust does become an ally to you. It becomes something that you can use consciously and something that is <clears throat> quite a bit more profound than having uh, blind faith in a certain spiritual uh, master or uh, teachings. You can empower yourself with trust. You can use it to combat and to eliminate doubt and fear from your life. If you will look at your lives and mm, all of the various activities that you perform, all of your dreams that have manifest and uh, those, who, uh, those dreams which have not yet manifest, you will see that where you have given yourself and put your energy in a, with some sense of trust, you have generally been met with a certain amount of success. Either that or you have been redirected in a way that has proved to be even more beneficial to you in the long run. For with trust there is also a certain aspect of surrender. Trust is not control over manifestation. It is giving yourself to the divine in such a way that if your dream, your particular manifestation does not come about in the way that you have planned it to, it manifests in a way which is better, which is more in alignment with God's will for you and with your own higher will, which is the same as God's will for you. So you are all on this path, each in your own way, giving yourself to a spiritual growth, to the unfoldment of your divine purpose, to the unfoldment of your higher self. You are calling upon your own higher self to manifest, to enlighten you, to liberate you from all limitations, to release you from mm, negative emotions and mm, doubts and fears and all human creations and in the course of your growth you will obviously as you all know undergo transformation you will undergo purification you will undergo various trials and processes your emotional bodies will be cleared and you will experience times of where, let me say, there is a little less clarity. Perhaps you are proceeding on your path for some time, having wonderful experiences, and then uh, you find yourself releasing a great deal of emotion uh, that has been stored within you, and you feel a little less clear, you feel a little bit uh, more ill at ease. Uh, perhaps it is mm, uh, the time that uh, your doubts and fears surface and you feel cut off from your source. This is when you can apply your uh, ally. This is when you can, if you have given yourself to the experience of realization that trust is something that is fulfilled in a beautiful way, you can give yourself to this experience almost as if you take out a sword and slice your way through uh, the jungle, the uh, underbrush.
Trust is that which you can call upon to assist you in your times of uncertainty, in your times of um, apparent unclarity, in those times when you feel that the growth process has pushed you beyond your limits and you feel yourself in a new environment a little bit uncertain of how you will be uh, cared for, how you will be nurtured, or how you will mm, interact in this new environment. Considering that at this time there is so much uh, growth occurring and that this growth is uh, mm, unavoidable, it is not uh, an option any longer to have a spiritual growth experience on this planet. It never really was but now it is becoming more and more a conscious affair. And because you are experiencing so much more growth, so much more grace, you need so much more trust. Sometimes you will receive mm, guidance inside of your own uh, mm, consciousness, guidance from your teachers, from your own higher selves. Perhaps it is only mm, an inspiration. Perhaps it is a feeling, a hunch. But in that moment when you feel it, you feel the truth in that. And you feel that it is something that you are meant to give yourself to that it will have a certain reward for you in your uh, growth and in your ability to manifest something that you desire, whether it be a spiritual or a emotional or physical. And you will begin to give yourself to the process of unfolding this particular uh, idea or dream or uh, manifestation. And you will take some steps in this area Perhaps things will unfold uh, quite smoothly at first, and perhaps mm, you will have some challenges. But uh, very often the case is that in following guidance, in following your inspirations, you come to a time of mm, difficulty and a time of mm, trial, let me say, or a testing, a time when things do not seem quite so smooth, a time when you uh, can doubt your own guidance, you can doubt the uh, wisdom in following that particular course of action. And in those moments, it is uh, uh, generally the tendency to uh, look back into the past and say, I should have uh, stayed at home. Perhaps I should have stayed in my security. Uh, it was not that bad after all. Trust is what you can rely upon in these times. And it may feel somewhat blind, but if you will give yourself, continue on that path and call upon your guidance to strengthen you, trust in the guidance that you received to carry you through, to give you the strength to go through to the final unfoldment of that particular manifestation or that particular growth process. You will find the blossoming of that particular inspiration or manifestation and you will experience the full benefits of it. You can begin by doing this in small ways in your lives and sooner or later your entire life becomes a matter of uh, mm, uh, living on inspiration or living on trust, giving yourself, throwing yourself entirely up into the air, knowing that you will be uh, taken gently and perfectly into the next phase of your involvement and experience. And yet, uh, regardless of whether you are trying to manifest a, a loaf of bread or whether you are trying to manifest a, a new career, 
or whether you are trying to manifest ascension in your lifetime. The process is generally somewhat the same, with the tests and trials being a somewhat more uh, potent as you go into a higher uh, manifestation. So what you learn in your mm, mm, small miracles, in manifesting your small miracles, is that which you can rely upon and will uh, build within you that sense of trust to take you through the large miracles. You are all here to create miracles. In fact, uh, the fact that you are here is already a miracle. You are surrounded by a miracle. You are learning to partake of it in a way that is more appreciative and in a way that is somewhat more interactive rather than feeling uh, victimized or mm, at uh, the mercy of uh, your surroundings and the world at large, you are learning to create the world as you desire it to be. So, this transformation and this uh, shift in consciousness is quite a large uh, maneuver on your parts, especially considering uh, the lack of uh, wisdom which has been in this environment, uh, in the third dimensional reality of the earth, you are all to be honored for your mm, courage in uh, partaking of this adventure, of turning this life around into a, mm, a miraculous, a conscious miracle, in a way that you feel yourself empowered to master it and to create that which you desire, knowing that that which you desire is in alignment with the will of the Father. Trusting. Trusting your own creations. So, to live in trust is a radical mm, idea in regards to the way uh, the mass of humanity lives. The mass of humanity is still living in fear and doubt and scarcity. What you are attempting to do is to completely alter that reality and to create abundance, prosperity, and un unconditional love for yourself, even surrounded by uh, this world of illusion. This is an, uh, mm, an epic challenge for you, and yet it is your time to do this. You have chosen to come here at this time to do this very miracle. And you have chosen to do so knowing that you would succeed, knowing that you would conquer all limitations, and with the help and grace of your ascended brothers and sisters. You would be examples for all others to follow. So how do we manifest? How do we mm, how do we secure an experience of trust for ourselves? What is it that we can do to have more of a feeling of trust, to have less stress and less strain and mm, more fluidity as we process ourselves into the next dimension? We spoke last time about choices. You will be presented with many challenges. I'm sure you already have been. On a day-to-day -day basis, uh, 
I would say there are many challenges and uh, there are even more uh, larger challenges overall in your life mm, paths. But when you are faced with a challenge which is somewhat confronting to you, which is somewhat of a t test of your initial uh, mm, experience of giving yourself to guidance or to your uh, intuition, there is always a moment of choice. There is a, always a moment where you decide consciously whether you are going to mm, give in to fear and doubt or whether you are going to trust. It is at that point when the doubt and fear or whatever the other uh, mm -hmm. hindrance, emotional or uh, otherwise, whatever the hindrance is, there is always a moment where it is uh, first presented to you as an idea or as a an option. It is like a small mm, end of a rope, let us say. And when you come to those points where you feel yourselves stuck a little bit or uh, unclear or doubting your path, losing somewhat your certainty, you are presented with options. You might say it is a test of this sort of thing. And you are presented with the end of the rope that is attached to trust. And you are presented with the end of the rope which is attached to doubt and fear, insecurity, and uh, old patterns of belief, limitation. And in that moment, you have the conscious choice to decide your mm, reality concerning the particular area you are uh, dealing with uh, by pulling on whichever rope you are mm, drawn to and in pulling upon that rope, you attract yourself or you pull to yourself a more complete manifestation of that which you are pulling upon. So if you choose the uh, doubt and fear, you find that uh, what began as a, mm, a small nagging doubt in your back of your mind somewhere, uh, you have drawn to yourself a great uh, crisis in confidence and uh, doubt, etc. You have pulled a, a gigantic gorilla towards yourself or if you will pull upon the rope of trust, you will pull into your consciousness grace and trust. And though you may not feel 100% clear, you may not feel 100% <clears throat> empowered and full of uh, spiritual uh, mastery and light at that moment, <clears throat> you will pull into your consciousness <clears throat> sufficient strength and courage <clears throat> and clarity to feed yourself and get through the particular area that you are transversing. <clears throat> Aren't these spiritual truths <clears throat> always so simple? I am almost embarrassed. You are all here waiting for the <clears throat> information concerning that which will take you to the uh, ultimate reality, and here I am talking about pulling upon ropes. Well, it is always simple. When you condense it to the moment, it is always a matter of your own choice. You have an option. If you will choose in that moment, trust, then you will be demonstrating to your higher self a certain amount of trust and even reaching forward and grabbing that trust which seems to be almost a, it almost seems that you are faking it a little bit you are having a little bit of hope that there is such a thing that you can be pulled through to a clarity to a receive more guidance, to further guidance, to assistance. Something to keep you going forwards rather than backwards. And when you reach for that rope, 
you will find it is attached to the guidance and the grace and mastery of your spiritual masters. And if in doing so you call upon the guidance of we who are here to assist you, you will maximize your experience of trust and you will in all likelihood find mm, that that which looked to be a huge obstacle on the path, that that which looked to be all-consuming, something which you could not possibly get through, you will find that it comes into alignment, takes its uh, true place, and that it was not nearly as large an obstacle as you imagined in your fear and doubt. And then you may find, a, as you proceed with this and as you use this in your life, the ability to have more and more trust, the ability to live, and the ability to take more of a risk in your lives. On any level, you choose to take a risk. It could be a risk uh, related to your mm, financial security. This is very uh, profound for many of you. You are still mm, somewhat victimized by uh, the need for uh, dollars. At the end of your path, you will be beyond dollars. But for now, it is still a very good example. Or it could be mm, something a little bit more uh, etheric in nature. It could be your own ability to connect with spiritual guidance, to receive messages from your teachers, perhaps to channel those messages through. That is a very uh, trusting endeavor. And yet it is... Uh, extremely important at this time. So I am here to encourage you all to take a little bit more of a risk in your lives, not so much in ways that are upsetting to your uh, security, but in ways that you can use to uh, teach yourselves that trust is a real, tangible grace that is here for you, that it is a tool that you can use, that it is something you can give yourself, a way that you can give yourself that can take you through your processes uh, with a great deal more uh, speed and also a great deal more smoothly. You have all had the experience of resistance, resisting change, and you have had the experience of giving yourself to change and flowing with it and uh, enjoying the process. This is what I am getting at in uh, some degree. The process that you are in is unavoidable, and yet you do have some measure of control over it as regards to how smoothly you mm, make your transition into the ascended state. To do this consciously, using these little tips and hints that we give you in our gatherings and in other um, ways that you collect this guidance, in doing this consciously, you mm, make your journey somewhat more enjoyable, and you realize the experience of the joy that is there waiting for you at the end of the journey. You realize the experience of that joy even before you have reached the end. Sometimes it is simply a matter of relaxing. Sometimes trust is a matter of taking a few deep breaths and giving yourself to inner peace rather than deciding to choose a path of uh, mm, fretting and worrying. It is like mm, coming to a crossroads. and choosing the way that is more peaceful, the way that is based upon consciousness. It 
It is. a curious affair that you are involved in here because you do not see the end of the path and you do not experience the benefits of a, your spiritual growth fully in every moment. You are somewhat having to trust that there is a value in meditation, that there is a value in giving yourself to spirituality that is above and beyond, say, giving yourself to the uh, mm, practice of uh, materializing uh, millions of dollars. What you engage in is what you become, and yet you do not have the full uh, benefit or uh, experience of knowing the end result of engaging in spirituality. So you are trusting, even to come uh, to this room this evening, you are trusting somewhat that there will be mm, an energ energetic or a mm, experiential benefit to doing so, as well as a growth experience for your future. But you do not know what the future holds for you. You are in the moment. So there is a great deal of trust involved with this spiritual path involving the moment and giving yourself fully to the moment and uh, riding in that moment down the stream of your life. Knowing that you cannot see around the next bend and uh, simply having a, a feeling that you are going in the right direction. You only know what it feels like. And you can imagine what it must feel like to be an ascended master based upon what you have experienced of spirit in your own practice. And this is what leads you forward into this adventure. There is a test of faith involved even in materializing here in the third dimension to come here and to be a, in the body form and you have all experienced and given yourself very trustingly to the process of materializing and trusting that you would someday return to your source and to your full spiritual presence. This is occurring now in this lifetime. So you see, you have all been experts at trust. At one time, you trusted extremely and profoundly, and you gave yourselves to an experience of the unknown, an experience of more limitation and a density in order to pursue the path of your own spiritual mastery and in order to serve in the upliftment of humanity on this planet. So I call forth to you now, to your higher self, to bring that trust back into your lives to bring the profound trust that you materialized at that time that you exhibited back into your consciousness to be used and to help you. And you also can do this in your meditations by choosing trust over fear and doubt. If you are trusting, you will become perhaps an altogether a different being than what you may have been used to in the past. You will surprise yourself. You will amaze yourselves at what you accomplish and what you go through with ease. You will go through processes and changes that uh, in the past would have caused you some alarm. Uh, you will go through them as mm, a matter of fact and uh, quite smoothly and you will connect more and more deeply with your source, and you will feel your source within you more and more consciously in each moment, pulling you down the stream to the ocean. 
This is what you will experience. This is a small portion of what you will experience. And so I am here this evening to encourage you to give yourselves in those small ways, to have trust in those small ways, and to have the trust it takes to even sit in meditation and consciously breathe and do what may appear to be doing nothing and trusting that it is taking you to your goal. We are with you so profoundly at this time. And when you call upon your own guidance, when you call upon one of us in need, you will be met with a response that is instantaneous and uh, though you may call upon uh, Lord Jesus to help you, if Hilarion has something to offer at that moment which is more uh, of benefit to you in that particular situation, then I will be uh, automatically summoned. Our communication network is quite a bit of, mm, more adv advanced and evolved than your own. Our communications are instantaneous. So you see that when you come into your moments where you have the choice of whether to uh, uh, trust or whether to uh, give yourself to fear, and in that moment, you can make an instantaneous summons and we can come and assist you. It is what we are doing now. It is what we are enjoying doing. So in every way that we can, we call upon you to call upon us. For it is our desire to see you re-emerge as the ascended beings that you truly are. And in doing so, that you uh, can serve as examples to all those who are still clinging to material third-dimensional reality and inspire them to look upwards, to reach upwards, to have some trust. For before you can reach and hold on to trust, you must let go of fear. So you are all undergoing a process of training. I'm sure you are quite aware that you are mm, mm, having the experience of being evolved rather quickly at this time. And there is a purpose in this beyond simply uh, uh, causing you to have a lot of processes. Processes are a, a result of the path of growth, but they are not the end result. They are mm, something that you will go through rather quickly on your way to complete enlightenment and ascension. And it is our desire to assist you to go through these processes as quickly and as easily as possible because there is a lot of work to do here. There is a great deal of teaching to be done. There is a great deal of manifestation to be done. There are a lot of miracles waiting to be performed by you. So give yourselves to trust and go through your processes. Know that mm, the end of processing is near. And as you have that experience of your own ascension, you will understand why I have been speaking to you this way so much this evening concerning trust. You will understand the tests that you have gone through and the tests that you have passed and the way that you have proven yourselves worthy of becoming Ascended Masters yourself. 